What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? <laughs> no, Mum. You're still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Yeah. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. I, I want to be friends with Jebra again, Mum. What should I do? Why, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. Mm. That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Night, night, Mum. Night, night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Good night, sleep tight, child of Yggdrasil. The sun, it is sleeping, and the night is still. The stars, they watch over you with twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. Have you found him yet? Not yet, Master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the Luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead then. Good, if that is the case. Then this world is mine. Mordigan has played his hand. The game is all but won. A shroud of deepest darkness has eclipsed the shining sun. And yet, amid the shadows, glimmer tiny specks of light. Faint, flickering flames that rage against the coming of the night. How can such sparks of hope remain? When darkness rules the land, now evil reigns supreme. Who has the strength to take a stand? Uh. 
Silv! Silv! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Silv! Stay with me, Silv! Come on. Oh, there you are. You all right, Sylph? Huh? Oh, oh, sure, Davy, honey. I, I was just getting a little air. Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know? Oh, come on, Sylph. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. That day... When Mordegon... There was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me. For all of us. But this... This is worse than death. To wake up and find everybody gone. And the world consumed by darkness. <sighs> I'm sorry, David. But I just... I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but without the others... I'm nothing. Nobody. Right. That's enough of that. Huh? <laughs> Have you lost your bleeding marbles? Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was going to be easy or something? <sighs> oh, Davy, darling. You're right. <clears throat> if a slip of a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordagon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? <laughs> That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have you back, me old mucker. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now, enough chit-chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the world is in. And once we've done that, we can make a start on fixing it. Sounds like a plan, Sylph. Nearest arbor to here would be over in Gondolia. I'll plot a course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain.
Day? Hmm? Don't worry, honey. It happens to us all. Hmm? Oh. You're one of those minstrel types, are you? Look, if it's money you want, you'd better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. It's against my policy to leave people all alone. And they look as down in the dumps as you do. <sighs> look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem halved. Hmm? That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando, entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Hmm? Right. Well, my name's Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto, though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home, see how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. My luggage was stolen by a gang of thieves who've been terrorizing the town. The Beastly Boys, they call themselves. I can't make the journey to Hotto without all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I brought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say, well, to say sorry for being away for so long. For leaving her all alone. <laughs> oh, honey, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Dave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. Oh, well, if you're sure, there are two merchants, brothers, who run establishments in the southern part of town. I've heard that the Beastly Boys have been hanging around, causing trouble at the Older One's store. A stall in the south of town, huh? All right, we'll be back before you know it. Dave, darling, let's roll! W wait Look, I appreciate you trying to help me, but these are real thugs we're talking about here, and no offense, but you're just an entertainer, right? I wouldn't want you getting hurt. 
<laughs> oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? Don't mind. What we gonna do with this horrible lot then, Sylv? Well, beastly they may be, but they're not exactly the dangerous thugs we heard about. They can barely swing a sword. What's your story, boys, huh? We didn't start out as criminals. We were fishermen, and very happy fishermen at that. But after Yggdrasil fell, we couldn't take the boats out anymore. Have you seen the sea lately? It's swarming with monsters. Things were just impossible. Most days, we barely had anything to eat. The world might as well have ended that day. We lost our families. We lost everything. No one came to help us. So we had to choose between a life of crime or starving to death. And that's no choice at all. Watch closely, darlings. This is just an ordinary steel pike, yes? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Think again! Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? 
from arms to mmms. Who's for fresh bread, huh? <gasps> <laughs> bon appetit, beastly boys. Eat your fill and forget your wicked ways. You'll be beaming again before you know it. Wait! Who... Who are you? Me? Oh, nobody. Just someone who likes to see people smile. home to my mother with my head held high. Thank you, Mr. Silvando. Oh, here. It's not much, but I want you to have these. Oh, Tetsu, darling. Whatever they are, I'm sure they're wonderful. You're such a sweetie. Honestly, you deserve much more. Come and visit me in Hotto sometime. I'll be able to thank you properly. Now, I'd better be off. I tell you to be careful, but I've got a feeling you'll be just fine. Bye for now. <laughs> Ta da! Here, you alright, Silk? Oh, I'm better than alright, darling. I found it. My purpose in life! My raison d'etre! You know how I've been so down in the dumps thinking about all the despair and suffering in the world? Well, if that's what's making me so unhappy, there's only one thing to do about it. Get out there and fix the problem. Help make people happy again. Just because I can't save the world with some grand heroic gesture, that doesn't mean I can't do it one smile at a time. That's my Sylv. I'm with you all the way. Hmm. We heard everything you just said. Them tea leaves from before. I hope they ain't spoiling for another fight. Didn't they learn a lesson first time round? You have to let us come with you. You have to let us help people. We're done with our life of crime, thanks to you. You want to tag along? Hmm. Well, I hope you understand, it won't be easy. I can't guarantee you'll get home in one piece. We don't care! Hmm. Well, in that case, welcome aboard, darlings. Yes! yes! Mm. 
now, as luck would have it, I've got you all a welcome gift. Here, take one each now. Don't be greedy. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, they're simply fabulous. <laughs> Darlings, you look splendid. I don't get it, Sylph. What are they? They're the presents dear old Tetsu gave us. If we're going to be traveling around spreading happiness and laughter, we'll need to look the part, no? All right, we're all set. Let's get out there and bring some sunshine back into the world. <laughs> Sylvando's super special smile spreading parade starts right here. Was easy. Okay, here we go. Uh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to me. Take this. Now that's beastly. Victory. Leave it to me. Dog and jump. Beastly. Leave it to me. Oh, 
my kick! Leave it to me! Well, that was easy.
Is that all you got? everyone. Thank you. 
this! Leave it to me! Guys!
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome one and all. I know it's a difficult time for all of us, but what better way to show off our indefatigable spirit than to fill the big top with joyful laughter and defiant exuberance. And believe me, that's what's going to happen. Because tonight, for one night only, for the first time since the glory days of the Gallipolitan Circus, the Wandering Wonder returns! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Oh, hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> Clap your hands, stamp your feet, and get ready to smile like you've forgotten how to! I give you the great Silvando! Everybody, it's time to turn those frowns upside down. Prepare to be amazed! Well, Sylph, I've got to hand it to you. That was like nothing else this circus has ever seen. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, darling, please. I just did a few party tricks, that's all. You're the real hero here. Keeping the show going in these dark times? No one else could have done that. <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been a firm believer in the healing power of laughter. And heaven knows, these people need it now more than ever. I don't think I ever told you who taught me about that power, did I? I saw her when I was just a child. She was simply the most incredible performer. She led a parade of people out of a kingdom destroyed by monsters and onto a new home and a brighter future. And she kept them smiling from start to finish. <laughs> you can't imagine how inspirational it was for those of us who were lucky enough to wave them on their way. And then, when she'd taken them to safety, she disappeared just as suddenly as she'd arrived. We never saw her again. The rumors were that she died when she was still young. Such a tragedy. Still, they say she fell in love with a famous knight, and they got married. So it seems she found some happiness before her untimely end. You remind me of her, you know. That look on her face as she proudly led those people out of danger spreading joy and laughter wherever she went. Well, if I needed inspiration to keep the circus going, you've provided it in spades. The show must go on. These people need some light in their lives. Hmm. Uh, did you hear that, darlings? 
it seems we've got our rival in the smile spreading business. Well, we'll just have to work twice as hard. Uh, Mr. Silvando? Would you mind if we came with you? If this circus is going to stand any chance of keeping people laughing, it's going to need some performers who've learned from the best. Oh, well, the more the merrier, of course. But I think we should see what the ringmaster has to say, don't you? Mm. Mm. Oh, you boys go with Sylv. Learn all you can from him, eh? I'll be expecting big things from you when you get back. Take good care of them, won't you? They're good lads, I promise. Life in the happiness restoring trade isn't all fun and games, you know? I'm going to be training you hard, and I expect you to become nothing less than the very best in the business. Sir, yes, yes sir. sir! Yay! Oh, yes. Thank you.
listen to this. Leave it to me. Right then. Teddy Weddy Woobags! Silvando, you came! But of course I did! And who's this ravishing young thing, huh? Hmm. 
I am his mother, and you must be Sylvando. Gratitude is due. When the World Tree fell, I thought my boy had been lost. I drowned in despair. But now he is home. My worries clear like the clouds, and all thanks to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool, would you look at that? You really do perk people up wherever you go, eh, Sylv? A right little soldier of smile, you are. Hmm, soldier of smile. Ooh, I like it. All right, listen up, boys. We all know what a dark place the world is these days. But if there's one thing I've learned by helping people like Tetsu here, it's the power of the smile. No matter how bad things get, no matter how much you cry or how powerless you feel, a single grin can bring hope for a better tomorrow. There's nothing this world needs more than happy faces right now. So that's just what we're going to give it. Yay! You're so right, Sylv. We're with you all the way. Oi! Who said you could start calling him plain old Sylv, you cheeky toe rag? Oh, I get it. We can't go spreading smiles if we're mistering and surring left and right, eh? Fair enough. Silve yourself, silly boys. Great idea, boss. Silver is. I'm with you all the way too, Silve. Let's get out there and save the world! Yeah! I mean, yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, boys. You don't know how much this means to me. This parade's gonna change everything. I just know it. From this day forth, you shall journey across the land, vanquishing the blight of despair with the righteous power of happiness. I hereby dub you... <gasps> the Soldiers of Smile! Hmm. Soldiers of ears of smile. Yeah. If it please you, sir. My son would like to join you in spreading sunlight. All right, boys. Me and my mum have made a little something that's going to knock your socks off. <gasps> I told you I'd thank you properly if you came to visit. Now you can travel the world in style. <gasps> Wow! <laughs> We've made something for you too, Sylv. To say thanks, you know. Close your eyes. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh my, I love it! Thank you so much, my special little soldiers. <laughs> yeah. Let's say that sniveling you. There's people out there need our help in case you've forgotten. <laughs> oh. Look out, world! Here we come! I know you're still out there. All of you. We'll meet again soon. I just know it. And until then, I'll be doing my best to make the world a better place.
Optagonia. Finally. You there? You're not from around here, are you? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. One traveller to another. Steer well clear of that city. It's in a right old state. The stories I've been hearing are enough to make your hair stand on end. Thanks for the warning, but I'm going in anyway. If the people there are suffering, I can't leave them to their fate. Things are bad enough these days without that. Blimey. There aren't many like you around. Most people are just out for themselves since Yggdrasil fell. Well, good luck to you. You'll need it. I know I'm not alone in this. If you're still out there, you'll be doing exactly the same thing as me. And that's how I'm going to find you. I just have to keep looking. Monsters inside the city. And the rumors were true. Insolent fool! How dare you defy us! Someone needs to clip your wings! Teach you your place in the pecking order! Time to put an end to your hyper-annoying antics! Once and for all! <laughs> Not so fast! I think I'd be able to look after myself, being a fighter and all. <laughs> Wait, you're under the whole masked martial arts thing too, right? Yeah, you made it all the way to the semifinals. Jade, wasn't it? Well, picked a heck of a time to come back. What brings you to town? I've been visiting places where people are in trouble and destroying the monsters I find there. I heard that Octagonia had been overrun, so I came here as quickly as I could. What can you tell me about what's been going on? Uh, well, we've had it pretty tough. As soon as Yggdrasil fell, this creep called Booga showed up and took the place over. Started using us humans as his slaves. Vince and the others weren't about to let monsters take over our hometown without a fight, though. A bunch of them went out looking to take the guy down. But we've heard nothing since. In the end, it got so I couldn't bear to just stand by and watch things go to hell either. I had to try to do something. But, well, you saw how that worked out. Well, they won't be bullying the people of this town any longer. It's time someone taught this Booga character a lesson. Look, no offense, lady, but... He should be up in the old arena on the third level. Guess you know what you're doing, but um, just be careful, okay?
<laughs> Booger, I presume. Enslaver of innocence and all-round bully. I am he, mighty Booger, spectral sentinel, skull smasher, swoon inducer extraordinaire. And who might you be? Hmm? Let me guess. Another righteous warrior come to put an end to my wicked reign. Uh, come on then. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> As glossy as a great saber cat's coat, the flawlessly toned physique of a gigantic. Oh, yes. You're right up Booger's alley. We mustn't waste another moment, please. Safe you'll be mine. Let me shower you with gushing lashings of affection. Every minute of every day, forever and ever and ever. <laughs> <sighs> I couldn't think of anything worse. Ooh. <laughs> Just look at her angry face. It's even more adorable than her only mildly grumpy face. <gasps> Soon. But you won't be able to stay mad at me forever. <laughs> Especially not when you see what I've made you. Beloved, a token of my undying appreciation. I call it the hair-raising suit. Ooh, and it'll make your darling Booga Wooga very happy indeed to see you wear it. <laughs> uh, not on your life! Darling, please. We've only just met. <laughs> Try to control your urges. At least tell me your name before you start throwing yourself at me. <laughs> Come on now. Be a good girl and put it on. If not for your sake, then for them. <laughs> I've been known to get a little aggressive when I don't get my way. So, what do you say, honey bun? A quick change of clothes is a small price to pay to stop these people suffering, no? Are you sure? I may be famed for my generosity, but there's a limit to even my patience. So, are you going to put it on or not? Oh, look at little Miss Dabbenpants. You're lucky you look so scrumptious. But not as scrumptious as some. <laughs> no one has to get hurt. All you need to do is stop being so selfish and put on the lovely outfit I made you. Come on, honey kings. <laughs> For me. Ha <laughs> ha
so I can come over there and pummel you. Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. No, I've changed my mind. Sorry, but I am very pleased to hear you want to spend some quality time with me. <laughs> Let's get rid of these hangers on first, shall we? What? <laughs> Take everyone except me and the girl, will you, my love? <gasps> Anything for you, my boogie woogie woobugs! <laughs> You're disgusting. How could you? Save it for when we are finally alone with you, my little plum dumpling. We just have to pack these people off into an interdimensional vortex, and you will have me all to yourself. anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? Please! Uh, uh. Lo, thou hast defied mighty Booga, and must needs pay thy penance. Thou knowest the sentence. Ten thousand battles, no more, no less. Only then shalt thou be permitted to leave this place. You animal! Can't you see he's had enough? He can't fight one more battle, let alone 10,000! Uh, stop it, please. You're only making it worse. Uh. Worse? What do you mean? Tis plain thou art new to this place. Fear not, child. His life, at least, shall be spared. Just. But the commandments of Booga must be obeyed. Those who defy him must remain in limbo and fight until they have learned their lesson. Now stand aside and let justice be done. Thine own day of judgment shalt come to pass soon enough. I don't know what you people are doing here, but it stops now. Please, you have to listen to me. The more you try to fight them, the worse I'll get it. Forget about me, okay? You really want to help? Go help those who need it most. 
Uh, some of the guys they're keeping down there, they're getting it way worse than me. Fine, if you insist. Everyone okay? Huh. Just about. 
You wound up down here too, huh? Can't nobody catch a break lately. So you're the ones who went off to beat Booga and never came back. What exactly happened? Not a whole lot. We tried to take the guy down, and he sent us here. Limbu, they call it. No one's allowed to leave until they've paid for standing up to him by learning their lesson. Which means trooping in one by one to fight monster after monster. And no matter how bad it gets, you can't tap out. But that's... that's just awful. The whole sordid little operation is run by a horrendous fiend by the name of Boudicca. She brought us all here and no one's made it out since. Unless someone does something about her, we'll be stuck here forever. Doomed to an eternity of terror, never knowing who might be called up next. That's no kind of life. But you can't give up hope. If what you just said is true, then all we have to do is take care of this Boudicca, and we can all go home. Can't give up hope. <laughs> You're a bit late for that, darling. We ain't had none of that in here for a long old while. Going after Boudicca will only make things worse for us all. Is that what you want? Nah. Best thing we can do is keep our heads down and wait for him to get bored and let us go. We don't need none of your heroics, alright? You leave it alone if you know what's good for you. You can't think like that. If you do, nothing will ever change. If we don't stand up and... Look, hun, we've all heard the rumors, okay? About the Dark Spawn and how he caused the Lord of Shadows to come and wreck the world? And how a certain young fighter just happens to be one of the Dark Spawn's bosom buddies? You really expect us to listen to you? I. I. Alright, it's time to lock horns with some more monsters! <laughs> you! Get moving! It's your turn to pay off some of your debt to Booga! No, 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 no! Please, please, I, I don't want to, I, I can't! Never mind <gasps> him. If it's a fight you're after, I'll be more than happy to oblige. <laughs> oh, what fun! I do so love them when they're new enough to still have some fire in their bellies. Lady Boudicca? <laughs> I bet you thought I didn't notice you up there. Making eyes at my Booga Wooga. <laughs> well, I did! Luckily for you, we have an extra special punishment for little madams who don't know their place. It's called the Girly Burly! <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You've really gone and done it now. So long, kiddo. It was nice knowing you. Hmm. Don't be so sure. You may have given up hope, but I'm not about to.
<laughs> it's been ages since the last girly burly. Fie upon thee, humans! May Limbu be thy grave! Look, she worked bad in the tournament, but this is a different kettle of fish. She don't stand a chance out there. Who thought she'd play the hero? How's that working out for you, dear? <laughs> it's time to show this cocky little creature who really rules the world these days. It's time for the Girly Burly! Monsters, make her suffer!
Is that it? But I don't know the fuss was about. I don't believe it. She made it through the girly burly. How did she do that? Anybody else would have given up by now. survive well sometimes if a gal needs something doing she just has to do it herself Oh no! Yeah, that ain't right. She just fought off a massive horde of monsters. At least give her a chance to catch her breath. Oh, boo hoo hoo hoo! Did you really think I was going to make this a fair fight? Honestly, one little present from my booga, and she thinks she's queen of everything. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head, dear. My boo only has eyes for one woman, and she outshines you in every arena. Looks? <laughs> Style? Not even close. <gasps> what? You think that's it? I'm just getting started. Oh, you think you're so tough, don't you? Well, you've asked for it now, Missy. Limbu is about to introduce a new punishment. Death! <sighs> Jade, stop! Just stay down, you hear? Keep fighting and you'll die. That ain't no use to anybody. Quit now while you still can. If I stop now, then you really will all give up hope. Not while I'm still... breathing. Too many people have given up already. And who can blame them? The world's fallen apart around them. But I'm not about to do the same. My friends are still out there, and they'll never give up. I know it. They give me the strength to keep on going. A light in the darkness. I have to keep that light alive. I'll keep getting up, no matter how many times you knock me down. I'll never let that light die! What happened to Jade? You did it, Jade! <laughs> I know your game, but it's going to take a lot more than a little scratch to make my boo stop loving me! You're right, Jade. With all the stuff that's been going down, we lost sight of the most important thing. Hope. 
That light you talked about? Mine is those kids back at the orphanage. I won't stay down either. Not until I finally make it back to them. <coughs> we got your back and all, Jake. What kind of big, tough warriors would we be if we didn't, eh? Hey, listen. I'm sorry about what I said before, okay? And I'm on board with all the Light of Hope stuff, too. There's gotta be something still worth fighting for in this world, right? Hmm. All right, everyone. Let's finish Boudicca off. Then get out of here and take care of her boyfriend. It's time to bring Hope back to Octagonia. Nimbu's too good for the likes of you, filthy humans! You're all going straight to hell! Bye-bye, Boudicca. 
This is not looking good. We need to get out of here, fast! <gasps> Look, Octagonia! It's our only chance. Quickly, everyone! What? <laughs> 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 Not be roughing up my bunnykins. <laughs> my eyes. <sighs> huh? Did we? <sighs> Man, we made it. We're back home. Oh yeah. We yeah. did it, guys! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wait, we can't start celebrating just yet. We've got one last battle to fight. Octagonia won't be safe until we've dealt with Booga. Let's do this! <laughs> Jade, you okay? Ah, <laughs> my little bunny rabbit has finally hopped home to daddy. I wondered when that suit of mine would finally work its magic. We've got so much to look forward to. You're mine. All mine. We're going to be together forevermore. We'll write each other love letters. Maybe even, dare I say it, hold hands. Oh, it's all so romantic. No, never. Am I still alive? I... I remember the Tree of Life... and the Lord of Shadows. I can't be the only one who made it, right? Right? <sighs> hmm. Not good. I'm not exactly in the best shape for a jailbreak. It's not a jail. It's a monster's lair. <gasps> <laughs> hey, where'd you get off sneaking up on people like that? <sighs> Don't worry. I'm not a bad slime. I promise. <sighs> oh dear. It looks like you're a little battered and bruised. But I can help. Here you go. <laughs> Oh! <gasps> 
Uh, uh, oh. Whoa. You... You healed me. What kind of slime goes around appearing out of nowhere and healing humans? <laughs> this kind of slime. My name's Elijah. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Sure. Well, whatever. If you're as good a monster as you say you are, maybe you can help me. Have you seen my buddies anywhere? Who's that? Your friends? You mean other Goomans? Nope. You're the only one here. But you want to go and find them, do you? All right, follow me. <laughs> He's helping me escape? Maybe he really is one of the good guys. Well, I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Guess I've got a new friend. Another one bites the dust. Easy.
Another one bites the dust. Another escape from an underground prison, huh? It takes me back to the good old days when we busted out of Heliodor Castle. I hope he's doing okay, wherever he is. Who are you talking about? Sounds like someone who's very important to you. Long story. Anyway, let's blow this joint. Want some? Thank you. 
I told you, two great big ugly monsters right up ahead. Yeah, I see them. I don't know if you heard, but apparently Lord Indignus has been smashing it. He most certainly has. He taught those what to the lesson, or so I heard. Attacked their village and sent it crashing to the ground. Watchers? Never heard of them. Any idea what they're talking about? Never mind. There'll be time for that later. We need to get these guys out of the way. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we do this? Hey, have you got potty? Just who are you anyway? I've never seen you down here before. <laughs> you! Oh, but how did you manage to break out? Oh. How do you know my name? I think you and me need to have a little talk. But it'll have to wait for now. Come on. Yay! Let's get going! Looking for a fight would be suicide. Damn it, what do we do now? Come on, you can't just do giving up like that. What would your sister think? Wait a second. You're talking about my sister now? Not that she'd be in a position to think much of anything. Um, you don't remember telling me about her? I suppose it must have been a while ago. <laughs> What are you talking about? I only just met you, remember? <clears throat> anyway, this is no slime to be dithering. We need to look for another way out of here. Come on, let's go! Hmm, you're a slippery customer, all right. But don't worry, I'll get the truth out of you eventually.
Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Let's go. <laughs> Who else wants some? <laughs> nice.
needs another one of these thingamies. Hmm. But this one's not working. Let's see what's going on with it, shall we? Interesting. Don't worry, it's not broken. With a little bit of my extra special magic, it'll be all systems go in no slime. Well, it might take a minute or two. Just wait there, okay? <laughs> with us. Can you shake a tentacle and get that thing moving? I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't do any faster. Please, just hold them off for a little while, will you? Beat me? Think again. Beat me? Think again. Bye. 
again. Come on, Eric! Climb aboard! Bad little guy. Haha! <laughs> I told you I'm a good slime, really. But things would have got sticky if you hadn't been there to keep the monsters at bay. Hmm. This place looks different to where we were before. Let's go and see if we can find a way out, shall we? <laughs> We were up in the sky the whole time? So how do we get down? Something tells me this isn't a jump we're going to survive. Look! Over there! There's a path going up to the top! <laughs> what now? Kneel before Indignus, mortal, spectral sentinel and servant of the Lord of Shadows. It is I who imprisoned you, intending to offer you up to my master, but I see that you have other ideas. You have done well to make it this far. Quite a feat for a mere human. But you will go no farther! Huh? 
Seize him! We cannot suffer an accomplice of the Luminary to remain at large! The time of darkness has arrived, and no light shall be allowed to return. All who oppose the Lord of Shadows will be destroyed! Let's go! some way out there is one way huh huh elijah is that you where are you it is me but also not me you have known me for longer than you think one day, you shall meet the Luminary somewhere deep underground. And if you help him, you shall be forgiven. You know those words, don't you? Wait, that's... I can lend you the power to escape your predicament. A great power. But a power you may use just this once. And in return, I will have to take from you that which you treasure most. So tell me, what might that be? Of course, your memories of your brothers and sisters in arms. Precious treasures indeed, but I will have to strip you of them. There is no other way. Do what you have to do. I need that power. Memories aren't much good to me dead. Better to live and make new ones. I won't let this end here. I can't. Then the power is yours. <laughs> he has accepted his fate at last. Seize him! I'm not done. Not by a long shot! <laughs> it 
it seems there is fight in him yet. Very well. I shall finish the job myself! Foolish human. Let's do this. Dead. I'm not done. Excellent, Kerr. I shall lay your broken carcass at the feet of my master. <laughs> You knew me as the Seer, as do all the people of your world. I once told you a tale of your destiny, and I had hoped I might guide you to it. But even my power has its limits. Forgive me. Remember, where there is life, there is hope. Farewell. What a blooming palaver. Oh, there's nothing like a massive great tree falling out of the sky to mess things up good and proper. Oh, talk about the long way round. Huh? Crikey, that bloke don't look too steady on his feet. You all right, mate? 
I... I don't know. I don't even know who I am. All I know is... I was on a journey with... someone. But who? Suit yourself. Am I? How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. Ah! <laughs> Jinx! Is that? No, it can't be. It's her, fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest, and large as life. I have not the first clue what's going on around these parts, but I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rab, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever while you pluck up what little courage you have left? Yoo-hoo! Eh, have you a moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, Hen? <sighs> hey? What just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <sighs> this can he be? But, but it is. It's Dundrasil, just as it once was. <laughs> Looking sharp, Your Majesty. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my, my old robes, but, but how, what in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way.
I trust you are well, father. Helena! Erwin! It, it really is you! And, and you're young again! What's going on? Uh, Your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the Princess's Honor Guard, but as my own man. What? I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, well, uh, you see, the, um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, 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 I, well, <laughs> I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter, not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband? <gasps> Please, Your Majesty, I beseech you. Will you grant the wish of one who would gladly lay down his life if it would prevent a single hair on the princess's head from coming to harm? <gasps> Please, Your Majesty. Ah, I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? And to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, Father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me, you hear? Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Oh, hooray! Congratulations! Hooray! Where do you spring from, Lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet.
Your Majesty, Lord Robert, the new arrival is here. <gasps> Already? Ah. Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. A boy? Look, Erwin. Oh, he's a fine wee chappy. And what a set of lungs! We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. Hi. <laughs> we were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds... Clever and brave and yes, <laughs> but I've rather set my heart on something else, you know. What do you think of this for a name? Oh, uh, well, it it it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... Atsilf! <laughs> oh, father. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Hello, wee one. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What the? Having fun? Ah, how are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. What's all this then?
Happy birthday, Grandpa! Get away! It's... it's you! <laughs> 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 well, well done, Big Man! <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations! <Many> congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect a thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep it a secret. Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We've had Gondolia's finest patissiers working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live a long and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. Oh, you... you, you shouldn't have. Congratulations, Your Highness. The people of Dundrasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, hear! And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Erwin too. Oh, that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Didn't forget to send word one of a new addition or two to the royal collection of <clears throat> gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? My people. Oh, how I love them. You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? Is something the matter? No, laddie. Everything's perfect. Just perfect.
is so much fun. So Dunbrasil has they been destroyed, and Eleanor and Erwin are living here happily with a boy. Whatever this place is, whatever's going on, I know it can be real. This is for Grandpa. <laughs> Oh, my God. I could stay here forever. Oh. Oh, dear. oh, my poor wee soldier's fallen down. There, there, wee man. There's no need for that. <laughs> That's it. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. And then the darkness came. When I awoke, I was all alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive, but I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out to find a way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. Yes. So, I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but... But that means all this must be. What's the matter, Grandpa? I'm sorry, laddie. I've somewhere I need to be. Things I need to be doing. Well, what? You mean you're leaving? Aye, that's right. I hate to go. Really, I do. But maybe one day you'll understand. You be a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just fine. Give you what you want, Your Majesty. But can I ask why you want it? Because of more important things to be doing. There's a world needs saving while I'm dallying here in Greenland. Lovely as it is. I should be toughening up. I'm going soft in the head. I need to be with Grand Master Pang, learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need you to take me to her right now. Hmm. After all the effort I went to, honestly, do you think I like dressing up as a bunny-eared bimbo? <sighs> Grandmaster Pang! You can't be serious. 
It was you all along. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Wait. This is Welcome to the place where lost souls gather. The place between worlds. This is the Void. And you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. Not all of my students would dare. It's an honor to see you again, Grandmaster. Contentment is complacency. Happiness is inertia. You did well to refuse its temptations. So it was all a test then? Indeed it was. But you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Yes! Passed with flying colours! So you'll train me, eh? Hmm. You still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to do yet if you are to prove yourself truly worthy. You what? You must show me that you have not been neglectful of your training. That you have been diligent in your daily practice. And there's only one way to truly make sure of that. What? N not the naughty stick! And you've taken to wielding two of them, I see! Oh, Crivens! I'll not get out of this without a bruise or two! But, if that's what it takes, then so be it! Do your worst! Yeah. Let us begin. Take care now. You must use every tool at your disposal. Or else. Oh, I almost feel bad about this. <laughs> Got! 
should get the old blood pumping. Hey! I'll let you off this time. You must use every tool at your disposal, or else. I've held back until now, but no luck. Your work is not done yet. Take the weight off. Safety first! Let the darkness consume you! Huh? Um. Pull your socks up! Safety first! Um. Sit down. Perhaps you have not been as lazy as I feared. But you are still not ready. Wait, I... Still, your resolve is clear. You have shown me how much you are willing to endure in order to take on the Lord of Shadows. Perhaps you are as ready as you'll ever be. 
You're serious? You mean it's time? It is. You will be trained in the most closely guarded secrets of our art. But were you to undergo the full course of study, the physical body you have left behind would wither and die. As such, your training must be accelerated and the work of years condensed into mere days. But it will not be easy. Are you ready to open the gates of hell and see what lies beyond? You had better be. You bet I am! I'm the best teacher there is to guide me, and I'll gladly follow her wherever she leads me. I am very happy to hear it. By the way, the whole bunny girl thing, you were more than a mite convincing, Grandmaster, I have to say. We could have sworn he had sworn in straight off the cover of a vintage issue of the Ogre's Digest. mean by that exactly? Do not question your master! You have training to be doing! We will make it easy to begin with. 10,000 press-ups on your knife. 10,000! Oh yeah! 